Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everyone to our lesson for today for the first intermediate grade in the first semester at this year. Our subject is the English language from the book Full Blast One. Okay, so our book is Full Blast One. Our lesson for today is 2A My Things Grammar and Listen. Today we have grammar and listen. This whole presentation is prepared and will be presented to you by Sultan Shahrani. So, first of all, thank you very much all of you for being with me. I'm really, really happy to see you. And the second thing, I want to make sure that you understand our book is full blast one. Okay, so I want you to understand that our book is full blast one. Okay. Uh, and the third thing is, I want to make sure you are ready to begin our lesson. So everyone, are you ready to begin our lesson? Very nice, let's go. Okay, we will learn today, number one, the verb have got in the affirmative and negative sentences. Number two, the verb have to the same okay it's the same but now with questions and answers number three practice listening we have a listening that we have to listen to okay first of all we will start with the grammar okay this is the same lesson as the the previous time 2a but today grammar it's number four okay Number three, grammar. The verb have got. We will talk about the verb have got. Have got. We use it for something that we have or something that we own. For example, can you see this boy? Okay, he has a book. Can you see this book? It's in his hand. So I think it's his book. So we have to say... This boy has got, has got, has got a book. This boy has got a book. This is his book. Okay? Very nice. In the affirmative sentences, when we start with he, she, it, or any singular noun, we have to use has got after that. For example, he has got a car, for example. Okay? He has got a car. She has got. It has got. Or we can say, he's got. She's. Can you see this? She's got. It's got. But, when we start with I, they, we, you, we have to put have got after them. Have got, I have got, they have got, we have got, you have got. So this one has got, this one have got. Or we can say I've, can you see it? I've got, they've got, we've got, you've got. Okay? With the negative sentence, also, when we start with he, she, it, we have to follow them by has not got. He has not got a car, for example. He has not got. She has not got. It has not got. Or we can say hasn't got. This is the short, okay? This is the long form. This is the short form. Hasn't got. He hasn't got. She hasn't got. It hasn't got. So it's the same when you say has not got or hasn't got. It's the same. But you know this one is short. This one is long. Those are the same. But this one is long. This one is short. And this are the same. Those are the same. But this one is long and this one is the short. Okay. After that, when we start with I, D, 
day we you with the negative sentence we have to say after that have not got I have not got they have not got we have not got you have not got or we can say haven't got haven't got I haven't got they haven't got we haven't got you haven't got okay is it understood so far so good very nice so when I put the short form in a sentence for example for example I will say he's got a book or he hasn't got a book okay this is the short he's got this one okay he hasn't got this is an example okay this is an example very nice okay what about the questions and the short answers of these questions let's see when I want to talk about the pronoun he she or it I have to start with has okay so in the sentence we said he has but in the question has he in the sentence I have but in the question have I so it's the opposite okay let's continue has he got for example a car yes he has or no he hasn't has she got yes she has no she hasn't has it got yes it has no it hasn't but when we we when we want to talk about the pronoun or when we want to use the pronoun they or we you i we have to start with have have they got yes they have no they haven't have we got yes we have no we haven't have you got yes you have no you haven't but i want you to know something when i ask you listen i'm talking to you so i say have you got a car you have to say yes i have no i haven't okay so you're talking about yourself and when i say have i got for example a pen have i got a pen you will say yes you have because you are talking to me you are talking to me yes you have no you haven't okay this is very easy isn't it very nice okay now we have an evaluation so it's an exercise circle the correct words let's see number one i've got i've got a brother and a sister so what do you think what should we say I've got or has got have got or has got i mm. do you want me to go back just once one time only this time let's go back we said i with have got okay very nice so we have to say i've got a brother and a sister very nice okay number two adam has got have got two bikes adam's got or adam got two bikes adam one one boy one man he's one only very nice adam has got adam's got two bikes number three we's got we've got a new maths teacher we we've got a new maths teacher very nice number four a kaylee's got kaylee's kaylee've got a game console hmm we're talking about kaylee one person kaylee's got k 
Kaylee has got. Excellent. Okay, what about this one? She's or has she? She has or has she got a computer too? Look at this. This is question. Okay, it's a question. So what do you think? What should we say? Which one? She has or has she? Excellent. It is a question. So we have to say, has she got a computer too? B. No, she hasn't or haven't. Excellent. It is hasn't. Number five. My cousins hasn't or haven't got rollerblades. My cousins. Listen, my cousins. There is S, plural S. Many. There are many of them. Excellent. Haven't. Very nice. Excellent. Number six, you have or have you got a mobile phone? Oh, this is question mark again. Question mark. You have or have you? Very nice. Have you got a mobile phone? B. Yes, I have or yes, I has. Yes, I have. Very nice. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you very much for helping me. Okay, let's go to the next. So, go to pages 141, 143 for extra grammar practice. If you want to practice more, if you want more exercises, go to page 141, 141 or 143. Okay, very nice. Number four, listen. Listen and tick. Okay, this is the ticking. This is the symbol for the ticking. The things Donna's got in her bag. Okay, so we have red cap, blue cap, camera, game console, mobile phone. So which one of those, which one of these things Donna's got in her bag. Maybe one of them, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe all of them. So I want you to listen. Then after that, I want you to tell me the answer. Okay? Okay, let's listen. Listen and tick the things Donna's got in her bag. Donna, have you got your camera? Let me see. No, I haven't got it in my bag. But I've got my mobile. It's got a camera. That's good, thanks. Have you got your game console with you? I haven't got a game console. That's right. Sorry. What's that? It's my new cap. I've got a cap like that. But my cap isn't blue. It's red. I love red. Look, here it is in my bag. Okay, very nice. So, you know, I think you need to listen again, isn't it? I want you to listen again. Why? Because I want you to make sure that you got the correct answer. Okay? So, I want you to listen again. All of us will listen again and we will check our answer. Check your answer. I know that you got the correct answer, but please check it again. Let's see. Listen and tick the things Donna's got in her bag. Donna, have you got your camera? Let me see. No, I haven't got it in my bag. But I've got my mobile. It's got a camera. That's good, thanks. Have you got your game console with you? I haven't got a game console. That's right. Sorry. What's that? It's my new cap. I've got a cap like that. But my cap isn't blue, it's red. I love red. Look, here it is in my bag. Very nice. So, give me your first beautiful answer. Your first correct answer. What do you think? 
what is the first thing that Donna's got that she got in her bag? What Donna has got in her bag? What she has got, okay, in her bag. So can you see has got that we talked about before? Donna has, Donna's got, Donna has got. Very nice. Let's see. The first thing, what do you think? Excellent, the red cap. Very nice, the red cap. Okay, the second thing, what do you think? Mobile phone, very nice, yes it is. The red cap and the mobile phone, that's correct. What do you think? Do you think there is another thing that Donna has got in her bag? Very nice, there isn't. Okay, she hasn't got anything else, anything else in her bag. Only the red cap and the mobile phone. But those three, she hasn't got them. She hasn't, Donna hasn't got them. Okay, very nice. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you very much. Okay. We learned today, number one, the verb have got with the affirmative and negative sentences. Number two, the verb have got with questions and answers. Number three, we practiced listening. Okay, so this is the end of our lesson for today. Thank you very much for being with me. I'm really happy to see you. I hope I see you next time. This is Sultan Shahrani. Goodbye, everyone.